Hi, this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com and in this video we are going to customize the IntelliJ IDEA version 2018.3.3 We are going to cover customizations of the color scheme, code style, build tools, version control settings, compiler settings, as well as some miscellaneous items. Stay tuned! And let's start with the customization of color schemes. Go to Editor and you do Color Scheme. And here you can customize um, you know, the color scheme that you want. So the way to do that is you um, duplicate, you give it a name that you want, uh, Newton uh, uh, Color Scheme. And let's customize some things. For example, let's customize the font. So as you can see, um, this scheme is importing the default IDE uh, monospace uh, font size 12. So we click here and we can override to a different font and a different size, for example, 11. And let's press apply. And notice that it has automatically taken effect. So interestingly, there are, as you can see, there are some refresh issues here. Um, but let's not worry about that for now. And what else can we customize? So another thing that we can customize is the colors. And colors are um, uh, inside the color scheme are defined at this level, which is language agnostic. So if you have, for example, if your project has more than one language, for example, you may be using Java, uh, Groovy, um, Kotlin, for instance, then you may want to set your um, a color scheme at the language default level, where you're going to have, uh, you know, a consistent color colors uh, for all the um, uh, source code, independent of languages. And then at each um, language, you can then, you know, tweak it. Uh, for things that are really specific to that language. So for instance, instance field, I mean, it's rendered with this color. And um, if you don't override it, then all of the um, instance fields will have that color. For example, Java or, um, I guess I picked a wrong one, I'm not very familiar with Kotlin. Um, but you get to just run. So instance field noticed. So um, for Java, you know, obviously I can change this color to whatever I want. Doesn't really matter. And as you can see, it takes effect. So you can select whatever you want and change. Then you click apply, and now hopefully uh, it has changed, as you can see. <coughs> and um, so you can actually, uh, if you have an existing color scheme, you can import it. And basically IntelliJ supports these two, three formats, a .ICLS file, a .jar, and um, after you change it, you may export it. Uh, code styles. So code style is um, uh, set at two different levels. One, it's at the global um, IDE level and then you can have a project specific overrides okay so this is for example if you want to have a per uh, you know probably makes sense to have a code style across all different projects within an organization and um, and maybe you ha can you know do defaults at the project specific level so just like the um, color schemes you can if you want to make changes to this code style you would do a you would basically do a duplicate and um, type you know my or to be consistent Nilton code style and now we can customize it um, 
so let's customize this <coughs> so one of the things that you might want to customize is the um, how you handle wrapping which is something you know that it's very um, you know specific uh, so you can se select be um, end of the line or on next line for at the class declaration or methods or um, even lambdas so we hit and as you can see IntelliJ is giving you a um, preview of how this is going to look so you click OK and notice that the change did not take effect immediately and to do that you have to format the source the code and then you know it actually takes effect okay so that's and obviously you can configure other things like the arrangement I mean there's a lot of options here um, another one is um, you can configure the order of the declaration of fields according to their visibility and and modifiers and um, constructors and methods so the only to, the way to change that you just basically you know press up down here in these arrows and it's going to be saved on the code style um, so again just like the um, color scheme you can um, if you change that you can export the color the, the code style <coughs> and after you make that change just like the um, look and feel and the color scheme you can also quickly change here so you can see it's here but I can go back to the default and again I probably have to do format uh, which is a little bit unfortunate but it is what it is um, and the same thing with the color scheme I can just go back to the default color scheme okay so moving on on the customization here um, what else we have here so version control probably you want to configure a github account uh, should be just click plus and then put you, you authenticate here uh, the git tab is to basically um, you know configure whether or not to use the SSH from IntelliJ or from built-in is basically the um, IntelliJ provided SSH client or you want to use the one from your uh, local installation of git um, on build execution and deployment um, so depending on the plugins that you have installed for um, for building you will see Maven and Gradle um, if you have them installed and basically um, you are configuring here basic options about Maven and this is again very Maven specific um, settings um, so this is where you set the local repo and the artifactories that you may be utilizing um, and you know again whether you want to do uh, offline builds so moving on compiler compiler is a, um, an option or a setting that for especially for an Eclipse user it's it's um, may, might be um, worthwhile tweaking um, in particular the build project automatically so by default IntelliJ does not build uh, when you change the sources automatically um, so you might want to turn this option on uh, if you want uh, behavior similar to uh, the way Eclipse behaves and another one is the compiler unlike Eclipse IntelliJ uses the standard Java compiler if again if you want the behavior similar to Eclipse you might want to choose the Eclipse option here so further customizations that you can do is um, a editing focused mode so as you can see um, we have quite a lot of stuff going on here other than the editors so a lot of stuff is being displayed um, you see the um, um, you know the toolbar um, the toolbars here 
the uh, project structure, the Maven uh, window, um, the uh, version control window, and the editors. You see tabs here on top. Um, you see what's called breadcrumbs being displayed here, which basically shows you, you know, the um, context of where you are, class name and method. We have a navigation bar here. It's quite a lot of stuff being displayed, which um, you know occupies um, potentially precious real estate space, screen space. So one simple thing you can do is um, you know ma uh, maximize the editor and then enter um, you know what's called the distraction-free mode. So in this mode, as you can see, uh, you you know pretty much everything else is hidden, and the only thing you see is source code. This is ideal for when you are, you know, coding and you want to focus on coding and you don't want to see all of that, you know, uh, stuff that is just distracting. And that's why this, this is called a distraction-free mode. Um, so to come out of out of this mode, you just go back to view mode and click exit distraction-free mode. A related uh, mode or view mode to that, it's called a um, presentation mode. And as you can see in presentation mode, the uh, fonts are largely, um, you know, increased, and so that, you know, if you are demoing this to someone um, on a projector or whatever, then they can see the code very easily. Um, so, to exit the uh, uh, presentation mode again, just click Exit Presentation Mode. And to control the size of the fonts that are displayed in presentation mode, you go to appearance and behavior, appearance, and at the bottom here you see font size and you can change the size of the font. A few more things that I'd like to show are the um, <coughs> file encoding. So if you are in, um, you know, Latin ASCII, you probably want to keep this as ISO 88591. If not, you can change it. And you have all these file encodings for you available. So one more setting that you might want to change is the um, line uh, ending. So go to line separators and you can change to Windows or Mac. And it's displayed here at the bottom. So you can also click here and change it you can see it's changed and here you can also change the um, file encoding. So one more setting that you might want to tweak is the um, IntelliJ uh, VM options. So you go to help edit custom VM options. The first time you uh, execute this uh, IntelliJ will check uh, if you don't have the um, this file it will be created. Um, and this file is saved in your um, at least in Windows, in your home directory inside the IntelliJ um, config folder. And one basic thing that you probably want to configure is the initial and the max heap size. Uh, related to this is um, the um, show memory indicator. So this basically, as you can see as I'm tweaking, displays the memory and this, in this also enables you to do manual uh, garbage collections on demand. So one last setting that you might want to um, play with is the um, JDK or that it's used to boot or to start uh, IntelliJ itself. So it's called Switch Boot JDK. And as you can see, uh, this is the version that comes of the JRE that comes bundled with um, IntelliJ when you install it. And if you want to change it, just click here and go to the version of the JDK that you want to specify and then save and restart and you should be good to go. So this concludes our video on how to do basic setup of IntelliJ IDEA. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel click on the uh, bell icon button to be notified about um, upcoming videos to this channel and also leave it a thumbs up if you found this video useful. Also please consider leaving a comment below on how I can improve these videos moving forward. This is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.